morning, ladies. Yay, happy Wednesday. Good morning. Welcome to Sunrise Energize. Very good. Hello. I see you have your space all set up. Awesome. Cool. All right, guys. Um, we're going to get going right away. I feel like our body is neat, especially in the morning. It's so good to move and wake up. And all you need today is really just some space. If you're on hardwood, maybe a pillow. Or if you're on hard surfaces, pillow for your knees to support. Then maybe just a towel. It helps sometimes to stretch if you need it. It's not a must, though. Towel or even a yoga strap. start in child's pose this morning. of your hips, opening it for the morning. Then pry your hands nice and long in front of you. Relax your shoulders, relax your head down to the ground. Take a moment to get here, arrive. Our physical bodies tends to be in one place. But as we're so busy in our head, we get really scattered in our mind, especially early in the morning, having a to-do list. Know that there's nowhere else for you to be, and that this is your time. Take it. Mentally, take a full body scan. Notice the areas that might feel a little tighter to you. Where does your body need a little more space? I feel a lot of my lats and shoulders. Then as we're building awareness of the body, we can start to engage the breath. Together, take a deep breath in, all the way to the top of your lungs, and notice how much you can expand on the first round. mouth release don't rush do more like that breathe in open mouth side out one more with an optional lion breath inhale all the way to the top of your lungs your exhale option. Stick your tongue out. Lion's breath. No one can see you. It helps to relax your jaw. With your next inhale, seal your lips and begin your own rhythm of ujjayi, nostril style of breathing. Long breath rolling in through your nose. Then can you sink a little closer to the ground? Relax your upper body. The tension starts to melt away if you pay attention and if you're patient. Breathe in. Through your nose, slow exhale out. As we connect to our breath, it is our teacher. In moments when we get agitated, we tend to hold our breath. The agitates not only our mental space, but also our physical body. We don't like to not breathe. And so our mood also matches that. When you long eat your breath, such as your ujjayi, you're teaching your body that you're in a place where you're safe, relaxed, and calm. Body and mind starts to align. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you're ready to find some movement, walk your hands just a little longer and then open your palms, stretch them as wide as you can. 
bring your hands together to touch with your with your thumbs facing up. Then be gentle. Bend from your elbows and bring your hands to the back of your neck. It's called the nape of your neck. Opening your triceps, your lats a little further. Breathe in. On your exhale, sink a little closer to the ground. Where can you give? Inhale, work your way back to the mat. And then be gentle as you round your spine and roll your way all the way up forward. Watch. Your knees will gently shift out. Hips drop, maybe your toes lift. Push into your hands and walk your hands so they're about your shoulder width distance. Lift your chest and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen your core. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, work your way back to tabletop. Roll back on your knees. Walk your knees back to about your hip width distance and place your hands so they're right under your shoulders. Right away, open your palms as wide as you can with your index finger facing forward. Your gaze is down as your neck stays long. Take a deep breath in and pinch your shoulder blades together. On your exhale, push the ground away so your scapula slides away from one another. We're flossing them. Inhale, pinch. Exhale, push. Two more. Inhale, pinch. Exhale, push. Do one more. Activation. Inhale, pinch. Exhale, push. Nice. To round. Inhale, walk up. Drop the belly up. Point your tailbone. Cow pose. Can you spread your collarbone just a little wider in front of you so you open your chest? Exhale, push the round. Tuck your tailbone, round your back, tuck your chin. Use your strong hands to push the ground away so you feel the lengthening behind you. We'll take two more. Inhale, roll up, cow pose. Exhale, round, cow pose. Your best one, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Bring your spine through center and flip your right hand so your fingertips are facing towards your kneecap. Put a little bit of pressure into the top of your wrist. There we go. If this is a lot already, then you also have the option to wiggle your hand a little closer towards your knee. That opens up the angle so it's a little looser. Or if this feels good, keep right here. Starting from your pinky, like tentacles, like an octopus, one by one, roll your fingers into a tiny little fist and notice what does that feel like early in the morning. This is so good for you. Then one by one, roll it back out. Do at least three and match it with your breath. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, roll out. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, roll out, wonderful. Open the hand and then rotate, large circles. Try to massage the top of your wrist. There's a lot of tendons in there and tendons have a lot less circulation than your muscles do. So as you're putting pressure into it in circles, you're starting to increase fresh blood flow through your hands. We use our hands every day for everything, you guys. Hands are really important. Reverse circles. Bring it center and flip. We'll even it out. Left hand does the same. Flip your left hand so it faces towards your knees. Oh, that was tight. You can keep it here, or if you need a little less, walk your hand closer to your knee. Whatever you choose, starting from your pinky, one by one, roll in. One by one, roll out. Roll in. Roll out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Relax your hand as you start rolling sort of circles. Find that pressure through the top of your wrist for three. For two. One that reverse for three. 
to and one outstanding flip your hand back tuck your toes underneath you and then walk your way back to take a seat on top of your feet spread your toes as wide as you can In the arches of our feet, rather the entire foot really, it's our connective tissue, fascia runs through it. It carries our circulation. And just like when you're working out really hard and you start to build calluses in your hands, our fascia at the bottom of our feet get really tight too. This is a good way to make sure it enhanced circulation is going through. So try to stick with it. I know it burns. Pull your hands together and rest joints, figure eights. Roll up. Send that oxygen. Breathe in. circles. You guys are doing great. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh, I feel those arches. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Release the hands and shake them out. What we're looking for is really like you're trying to throw your little fingers away from your hands. Decompression in the palms for three, two, and one. Thanks, B. Point your hands down, shift forward, untuck your feet, and pedal like drum roll. Circulation back in for three, for two, and one. Nice work, guys. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Hike your tailbone as high towards the ceiling as you can. Press through the knuckle part of your fingers, open your hands really wide. Rotate your biceps so they're facing towards your ears. Then can you encourage your heels a little lower towards the ground and flatten out your back? Awesome. Two full rounds of breath here. Can you find a little stillness? Your calves should feel like a stretch. You have three parts to your calves. You have your gastrocnemius. They're on the inside and outside. They're the short ones. They look really good in heels. Then you have your soleus, it's the long one that runs from the back of your knee down through your Achilles tendons. And guys, every time you take a step, these guys work really hard for you. This is a good place to give them a little love back. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you're ready for a movement, start to pedal. Push one heel, lift through the other, and push through your toes. Where can you create more space? Exhale, step or walk your feet behind your wrist. Walk them to your hip with distance and we'll stay in ragdoll. Instead of interlacing your hands like we usually do, flip your hands so they're facing towards the ceiling. Can you bend your knees enough so your hands can full on touch the ground? Then relax your neck, nod your head, yes. your hips and place your hands on top of your shin, flatten out your back. Your gaze is right under your nose to create a flat neck. On your exhale, forward fold. We'll take two more. It's activating your back. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Maybe even pinch your shoulder blades together like we practiced at tabletop. Exhale, forward fold. Your knees are slightly bent, protect your hips to protect your back. Inhale, last one, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, the slower you go, the better. 
Start to stack your, your spine on top of one another. Your shoulder will arrive last. The neck, the head. Rotate your hands so they face towards the front. Open your palms as wide as you can. Then rotate them out and scoop. Inhale, mountain pose, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart and close your eyes. Take a moment to welcome in your day. When you have a solid intention behind your day, what is your why? Why is today? What am I doing? Then all of a sudden you become in the driver's seat. You drive your day. Put purpose behind it. circle down, open, rotate your palms out and lift, mountain pose, exhale, hands travel through your heart, forward fold, inhale, lengthen your back, flatten out your spine, on your exhale, tuck from and curl, put your hands down, lift your heels off the ground, tuck your knees in through your chest, ideally on the inside edges of your arms, and then sit up as tall as you can. Your fingers can stay on the ground to help you balance, or if it feels like I'm getting stable, lift your hands up through your heart. Ooh. <laughs> well, early in the morning, try to make it back up. There we go. Okay, if you're rolled out like myself, try to fix it, take another breath. Good, shift your weight forward, heels to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down and walk your feet back. Downward facing dog. Start to pedal. We'll activate the body. Push right, push left. Feel as your body is getting a little more open than at least when we started. towards your hands. On your exhale, step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. You got it. Lengthen through your legs and encourage your back heel down. Lift your chest along in your spine. Maybe you come up to your fingertips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Strong core, strong hands. Push your way back to downward facing dog. Pedal your legs and we'll even you out. Take a breath. Push your heels down, inhale, look up. Exhale, runners lunge to the left. If your foot doesn't step up this far, use your hand to wiggle that guy up. The alignment we're looking for is for your knee to be on top of the ankle. Longate your spine and firm up your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Push back, step, pedal. All right, team. Inhale, look towards your hands. On your exhale, watch. Slowly lower down to your knees. And then walk your hands forward, puppy pose. Tailbone stays up, chest opens. Maybe you can extend your chin on the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. The same way you got here. Inhale, roll back, and then walk your hands underneath your shoulder. Lift your tailbone, down dog. Very good. If you notice, so far we've been moving in one plane of motion, and we're definitely not two-dimensional, right? So we'll start twisting to add on another dimension. Inhale, look up. On your exhale, rag doll, step to the top of your mat. Now if it feels good, reach for opposite elbows, head heavy. You can start rotating side to side. The goal is that you feel the opening in your low back. Your knees are slightly bent. Feel the lengthening of the hamstrings. Head heavy to pull your spine open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Spine arrives through center and release your hands. 
Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Place your right hand right under your nose in the middle. Inhale, your left hand high as you bend it to your right knee. Elongate the left leg, but don't lock it. Keep it soft. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, hand to your back, half bind. You should feel the stretch from your TFL down through your IT band, rotating your spinal structure, your intercostal muscles open. Breathe in. On your exhale, can you twist a little more? Use your hand on the ground as leverage. Inhale, hand up high and shoulder joint, draw your circles. Roll three, two, and one. Nice work, reverse for three. Two, and one. Awesome. Place your hand down and switch. Inhale your right hand high as you offset through your hips. Look up, be gentle. It's early in the morning. Hand to your back, half bind. Breathe in. Exhale, can you twist a little more? Where do you feel this the most? Inhale, re-extend, reach up high. Exhale, roll it. Circles to open up the shoulder joint for three, two, one. Then reverse for three, two, and one. Fantastic. Hands on the ground. Halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, roll all the way up. When you get to the top, bring your feet together to touch. Big toes are touching, slight opening behind your heels. Inhale, hands up high. On your exhale, right hand will find your left wrist. Breathe in. On your exhale, side extension towards the right. Pull out of your left shoulder socket. Inhale, bring it center. Exhale, switch. Find your wrists. Bend and extend and breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, open your hands. Slightly bend your knees as you forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your back. Exhale, tuck around and curl like we did in the first round. Come all the way up to the ball mounts of your feet. Your knees tuck into your chest. Find your stability. Activate your core as you lift your chest or possibly lift your hands in through your chest. Two full rounds of breath here. Breathe in, let it wobble. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands meet the ground. Heels down to the ground and take a seat, guys. Send your legs really nice and long and long in your spine. Notice how my knees are gently bent. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, forward fold with a flat back. Don't let it round. Whenever you find your spot of this is it, then reach and stay. Hands, ideally, they're not moving forward. Try to keep them in line with your ears. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, roll your way all the way back up to the seat. And then this time, reach forward to use your core. Slowly lower your weight down all the way down to the back. Oh, birds are hard this morning. Place your hands down by your side. Stack your feet to the knife edges of your mat. Knees will start rotation, rock side to side. Windshield wiper your knees to feel as you're rotating through your low back, pressing through your gluteus medius and maximus into the ground. Those guys are the big and large muscles in your glutes. They carry a lot of blood to push through. Your glutes, quads, and hamstrings are the biggest muscle groups in your body. So by pressing through them, giving them that gentle push into the ground, you increase circulation, which then helps you generate more energy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Outstanding. Stamp your feet a little closer on the ground. Right ankle, cross it over the left, and push your knee away from you, figure four. 
Keep your back really flat on the ground, then take a breath. If this is enough, then this is your spot. If you do one more, interlace your hands behind your left hamstring as you use your right elbow to push your knee away from you still. It's an external rotation of the hip. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release your foot back to the ground, then easy as that, we'll just switch. Right leg meets the ground, left knee cross. For now, just gently guide it away. Take a breath here and notice what does it feel like. It's not always the same. Breathe in. Breathe out. Interlace your hands. If you took the variation, find the back of your right leg. Dorsiflex your feet and use your left elbow to kickstand your knee away. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release your foot on the ground. Okay, guys, uncross and windshield wiper, second set. Can you make it a little more active? Breathe in. Breathe out. The body is starting to wake up. Breathe in. Breathe out, nice work. Pull your knees through your chest. Rock and roll through the length of your spine. Sit up tall, roll. Do one more, sit up tall, roll. And then on your last one, can you gain enough momentum to land in a forward fold? When you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, nice guys. Inhale, roll all the way up. Mountain fingers reach to the ceiling. Then here goes. Lift your left knee up into your chest. One legged mountain. Breathe in. Find your stability. Breathe out. Left ankle, cross it on top of the right knee and open it. Hands can travel through your heart to find more stability. This is a great place to be. Or if you're ready for a little lower, more activation in the glutes, take a seat. Figure four. You're here for just a breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lift. Good control. Gently release the foot. Shake it out. Awesome. Okay, guys, hands up. Inhale, mountain, grow tall. When you're ready, right knee, lift to your chest. Find your stability. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ankle, cross. Open the knee and pull your hands through your heart. Very good. This is a great place to stay, guys. Keep that balance. Calves, legs, glutes, core, it's all working. Or if you want to take the variation, take a seat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, take it slow and control it. Lift as you release. Shake it out. Nicely done. Top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Long lean for your core in. Exhale, cactus, open your chest. Good morning, we're ready for the day. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, tuck round and curl, lift your heels. Option, pull your hands in through your chest. Breathe in. Good, take it slow, slowly lower down to your heels and then to your bottom. Nice work guys, take a seat. Cross your ankles in a way that feels comfortable to you. Sit up as tall as you can, inhale, hands up high. Exhale, open twist to your left. I'm gonna find the outside of my knee and the hand is one behind me. Breathe in. Exhale, pull to twist. I'm telling you, words are so hard sometimes. Inhale, re-extend, reach up tall. Exhale, open twist to the other side. My hand is behind me as a kickstand. It helps me use the ground and then it helps me use my knee to twist and rotate back. You got it. 
Inhale, re-extend, hands up high. On your exhale, hands to heart, close your eyes. Today is a really good day to have a really good day. A lot of the times when things are not going exactly our way, we're one simple decision away from having a better mood, a better time, a better day. It's your choice that you make of what do I decide to focus on or give energy to. Today is a really good day to have a really good day. Breathe in. In gratitude for your practice, bow forward, namaste. Happy Wednesday, ladies. Fantastic job. Yay. I hope your body feels just a little more open than when we began. Yeah. Your breath is on, meaning you're making energy, you're pulling in oxygen. Keep that up for the rest of your day. If anything, breathe. You got this. Have a fantastic rest of your day, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.